said, oh, ain't nothing too hard for God, nothing too big for God. Hey, Amen. God can do all things, Lord. Hallelujah. I thank him today for what I feel in my soul, my heart today. Oh, God can do all things. Hey, Amen. He knows right where you are today. He knows what you have need of today. Hey, Amen. Oh, I thought about how the man in the Bible in the fifth chapter of John, a man had been lame, a man had an infirmity about 38 years, a man, and he laid there, and Jesus come by one day, and he said, wilt thou be made whole? He said, I have no man to help me into the pool when the water's trouble. A man, at a certain season, there was an angel would come down and trouble the water and ever who first got in the water a man was healed of their sicknesses and this man couldn't get in that he said while I'm a coming somebody else steps in before me a man but Jesus said arise take up thy bed and walk and the Bible said immediately a man he will he got up and walked a man I tell you that's the kind of man that Jesus is today. He knows where you are. He knows what you need. He knows your troubles today. I have to try to obey the Lord a little. I'm weak in body. You pray for me. I need the Lord to help me today. To give me strength in my body today. Amen. But we appreciate the Lord. The Bible says here in the fifth chapter of John, said after this there was a feast of the Jews and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there's that Jerusalem by the sheep market of Pooh, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda, having five porches. In these lay a great multitude of folk, impudent folk, of blind and halt and withered, uh, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain season, amen, into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever then first after the troubling of the water stepped in was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. And a certain man was there which had an infirmity 38 years when Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been now a long time in that case. He said unto him, Wilt thou be made whole? Amen. Jesus knew how long this man had been there. He knew his situation. He knew, amen, that he couldn't get in the pool. Amen. And he come by. Amen, I believe for the very intent, uh, amen, to just reach out, uh, amen, to this man, uh, amen, and have compassion on him, amen, it said Jesus knew uh, that it had been a long time in this case, uh, I tell you today, I don't know your case, uh, I don't know what you're going through out there, uh, I don't know what your needs are, but I know a man can called Jesus, a man that knows where you are huh? and he knows what you need huh? and he's able to meet your need today huh? if you'll put all your trust in him huh? and you'll seek him diligently huh? a man he's able huh? Huh? to meet your need huh? whatever your need is huh? a man and the impudent man answered huh? I, sir I have no man when the water is troubled, I'd have put me into the pool. But while I'm coming, another step is down before me. And Jesus said unto him, Arise, take up thy bed and walk. And immediately the man, I was made whole and took up his bed and walked. And on the same. Huh? A day was the Sabbath day. Huh? Amen. Jesus healed him. Huh? Amen. Of his infirmity. Huh? Amen. It don't matter huh? what 
you need today. Jesus is the answer. Amen. He can move in whatever need you have today. Ain't a need that you have. Amen. That God ain't able to meet your need. The Bible says you're in the fifth chapter of Mark. And they came over unto the other side of the sea into the country of the Gatorians. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately they met him out of the tombs. A man with an unclean spirit. A man who had his dwelling among the tombs. And no man could bind him. And no not with chains. Because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains and the chains and the chains had been plucked asunder by him and the fetters broken in pieces and neither could any man tame him and always night and day he was in the mountains and in the tombs crying and cutting his self with stones but when he saw Jesus afar off he ran and worshipped him and cried with a loud voice and said what am I to do with thee Jesus thou son the most high God I adjure thee by God that thou torment me not for he has said unto him come out of the man thou unclean spirit and he asked him what is thy name and he answered saying my name is legion for we are many amen and he besought him much that he would not send him away out of the country and now there was there now unto the mountains a great herd of swine feeding and all the devils besought him saying send us unto the swine that we may enter into them and forthwith Jesus gave them leave and the unclean spirits went out and entered into the swine Amen. and the herd ran violently down a steep place into the sea and they were about 2,000 <clears throat> and were choked in the sea and they that let fed them they that fed the swine fled and told it in the city and in the country. Yeah. And they went out to see what it was that was done. And they came to Jesus and see him that was possessed with the devil and had the legion sitting and clothed and in his right mind. And they were afraid. And they that saw it told them how it befell to him that was possessed with the devil yes. and also concerning the swine. And they began to pray him to depart out of their coast. And when he was coming to the ship, he that had been possessed with the devil prayed him that he might be with him. Howbeit Jesus suffered him not but said unto him, Go home to thy friends Amen. and tell them how great things the Lord done for thee and has had compassion on thee. Amen. Amen. They found this man. He was clothed and he was sitting at the feet of Jesus. Amen. He was in his right mind. I tell you today, if people's out of their mind, if you can get a hold of God, 
Amen. They'll be in the right mind. Amen. Amen. If we can pray and get a hold of God, God can put people in the right mind. Yeah. Amen. Jesus can do anything. Huh? Oh, Ananias, tell me what kind of man. Amen. That Jesus is. Huh? Amen. You ask this man in the tombs. Huh? Amen. What kind of man Jesus yeah. is. Huh? Amen. And he'll tell you. Amen. He's a delivering yeah. Jesus. Jesus. Amen. You asked a man by the pool I, what kind of man Jesus is. He says a healing Jesus. Amen. You find another man in the chapter of Luke in the 19th chapter, I believe it is. A man named Zacchaeus. Amen. If you ask Zacchaeus I, what kind of man Jesus is, I, he'll tell you he's a forgiving man. I, he'll tell you he's a saving man. Uh, amen. When Zacchaeus uh, amen heard about Jesus. Uh, he wanted to see Jesus who he was. Uh, amen. He was a little man. Uh, a little of statue. Uh, and he couldn't see Jesus uh, uh, for the crowd uh, and for the press. Uh, amen. So he ran uh, ahead and climbed uh, up in the sick more tree huh? for Jesus was to pass that way huh? amen and after a while huh? Jesus come by huh? amen he knew huh? where Zacchaeus was huh? he could have passed him by huh? he could have looked down huh? instead of looking up huh? amen and he could have went on by huh? amen without saving Zacchaeus huh? Amen. But he looked up. Huh? He knew where he was. Huh? He knew what he needed. Huh? He knows where you are. Huh? He knows what you need. Huh? Amen. And he looked up huh? in that sycamore tree. Huh? And he said, Zacchaeus, huh? I make haste and come down. Huh? I for today, huh? I must abide at thy house. Huh? And the Bible says, said Zacchaeus I come down and received him joyfully I tell you if you receive him it'll be joyfully the most joy you'll ever have is when you receive Jesus as your Lord and your Savior and Zacchaeus come down and he said Lord I the half of my good I'll give to feed the poor if I've took anything by false accusation I'll repay him for poor amen and Jesus I went home with Zacchaeus amen he saved him he forgave him Jesus said today is salvation come unto this house uh, and Ananias, what kind of man uh, is this Jesus? Uh, he's a saving man. Uh, amen. He's an eye-opener man. Uh, he'll open your blinded eyes. Uh, amen. So you can see. Uh, amen. I thought about old Philip uh, in the eighth chapter uh, of the book of Acts. Uh, how the Spirit told him uh, how to go down to get to the desert and there was Ethiopian man amen there was under Candace the queen amen and he was sitting on a chariot and he was reading the book of Isaiah the prophet amen the spirit told Philip I said go join yourself to this chariot and when it got over there uh, the eunuch was reading uh, uh, from the book of Isaiah uh, where it was led like a lamb uh, uh, to the slaughter uh, and like a sheep is dumb uh, uh, before 
before his mouth. Uh, amen. Before his ears. Uh, he opened not his mouth. Uh, amen. And Philip passed him. Uh, uh, I dost thou understand uh, what thou readest? Uh, uh, he said, How could I? Uh, uh, except some man guide me. Uh, uh, and he got up there. Uh, uh, and he said, Whom speaketh the prophet? Uh, uh, of himself? Uh, uh, or some other man? Uh, uh, and Philip opened his mouth uh, uh, and preached Jesus to him. Uh, uh, he never preached uh, uh, his doctrine. Uh, uh, he never preached his theory. Uh, uh, he never preached his ideal. Uh, uh, he preached Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, amen to the eunuch. Uh, uh, and they come to water. Uh, uh, and he said, What doth hinder me uh, 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 that I should be baptized? Uh, uh, and Philip said, If thou believest, uh, 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 with all thy heart, uh, 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 thou cow. Uh, uh, amen. And he took him down uh, uh, and baptized him uh, uh, in the water. Uh, 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 amen. He is a good man, Jesus yes, is. Yes. What kind of man? What kind of man is this Jesus? He's a healing man. He take a little old young boy about seven years old that had heart trouble, would wake up in the night and thinking he was going to die. His heart hurting him so bad and he couldn't breathe. And he'd wake up a crying and holler at his daddy and say, Daddy, I'm a dying. But his daddy would try to calm him down to keep him from getting so tore up. Come on. Tried to comfort him. Amen. But I tell you what, that old praying grandmother and a praying aunt, ain't they old call it. I know if there's a lot of people listening today and watching, you know who I'm talking about. Ain't they old call it my grandma Lindy Johnson. Amen. Ain't they old told my grandma, said, Mom, I believe if we take man to church, God would heal him. Yeah. They took me up at East Pineville to the old log cabin church where Uncle Billy Wilson and Aunt Sally Ann Wilson lived. Amen. They got me in there and Aunt Nell said, I've got a nephew here. Got a terrible bad heart condition. I'd like to get him prayed for directly when you feel led to. Amen. And they all began to sing and worship God. And I had a while the Spirit of God began to move. Amen. And they got me up there. Amen. And they took that oil. Amen. And they known in my head. Amen. And Uncle Billy Wilson, he stuck his hand up my shirt. Amen. And he rubbed my chest with that oil. Amen. And they were all praying. Amen. And it felt like a wheel in a wheel began to turn in my heart. Amen. And God healed me instantly that night. Amen. With heart trouble. Amen. That's been 60 years ago. Amen. Over 60 years ago. And God is still good tonight. God is still good today. God can still heal today. What God done six Sixty years ago, God can do today. The Bible said Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. He don't change. We change. Our faith changes. Sometimes our faith high, sometimes our faith low. But Jesus is always sitting high and looking down low. Amen. He knows where we are and he knows what we have need of today. Amen. There ain't nothing that we need that God ain't able to meet that need if we believe him. The Bible said without faith, it's impossible to please him, Brother Herman. For they that come to God must believe that he is and he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. I love him today, don't you? I thank him for what I felt my soul today. Amen. I'm weak in body. My lungs is weak. I can't breathe as good as I'd like to. But amen to God be the glory. Amen. All he gives me I'll use to praise him with. Amen. And when it's all said and done, amen, people can come around and look 
at me and they can say he put all he had into it. He put all his heart in it. He put all his strength in it. He gave God his strength. He gave God his love. He gave God, amen, his time and he helped, amen, who he could in the Lord. I want people to remember me as a person that loved God and was willing to obey the Lord and do what he'd have me to. God loves you today. I don't care what you go through. I don't care what kind of trials you're facing. God's able to deliver. I don't care how lost a person is. God's still able to save. This man here that was in the tombs, the Bible said he was naked. He didn't wear no clothes, Brother Herman. And he was all time bound with chains and fetters, and he'd pluck them asunder. He was so strong. He had so much sin in him and so much of the devil and so many legions in him. Amen, that he was strong. You know, the devil gives people power. He gives people strength and power, but he gives it to them the wrong way. God gives people spiritual power. He gives them power to overcome all the powers of the devil. Amen. Jesus said, I give you power over all the powers of the enemy, and nothing by any means shall hurt you. We got power over the devil. Amen. We don't need to lay down and let the devil kick us around. We don't need to lay down and let the devil walk on us. Amen. We need to walk on the devil. We need to bruise his head like Jesus did. Amen. We need to step on him and walk on him him and put him under our feet because God amen gave us the victory amen I don't have it in myself brother Herman I don't have the victory in myself it's not in me it's in the man I serve it's in the Savior Jesus Christ amen but he works in his people and he delivers to his people amen his people can lay hands on the sick and I believe they'll recover amen James said if there's any sick among you let them call for the elders of the church and let them pray over them anointing them with oil and a prayer of faith would save the sick and the Lord would raise them up and if they'd committed sins it'd be forgiven them amen what kind of man is this Jesus he's a sin forgiving man amen he's a soul he's a soul healing man amen he's a savior of the this world what kind of man is Jesus we can never tell it all he stepped on the deck of that ship when that storm was there and them disciples was on that ship he was down there asleep brother Herman storms don't worry Jesus he's the one controls the storms he's the one that makes the wind to blow and to stop blowing and he wasn't worried about it. He wasn't concerned about it. He was down there asleep. But them disciples is like us a lot of times. We get scared and go to shaking, wondering what's going to happen out of this? What's going to come out of this storm? How am I going to come through this storm? Amen. But Jesus wasn't worried about it because he knew that it was going to come out. Jesus done knows all of our storms that we're going to go through. And he done knows how we're going to come out of them storms. Amen. And they went down there and they said, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And Jesus walked out there on the deck of that ship, Brother Herman, and he said, Peace, be still. And the Bible said immediately there was a great calm on the sea. The wind ceased, the sea ceased. And there was a great calm. And you know what they said? What manner of man is this? Amen. That even the winds and the sea obey him. Woo! I tell you what kind of man he is. He's the son of the living God. Amen. God sent him here and God gave him all power. He said all power is given unto me in heaven and earth. Amen. He had it all. Brother Herman, whatever he said, it went. Whatever he spoke to, it happened. Amen. Amen. Old Lazarus could tell you what kind of man Jesus is. Yeah. Amen. He could tell you what kind of man Jesus is. 
Amen. Old Lazarus died, been dead four days. And Jesus finally come back to the place where that he lived at around close to him. And Martha run out to meet him and said, Lord, if you'd have been here, our brother would not die. And Jesus said, he'll live again. She said, Lord, we know he'll live again in the resurrection of the last day. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Brother Herman, I believe in him, don't you? Amen. Even though I'm going to die one day, I'm going to live. Amen. They may put me in the ground. They may throw the dirt in my face. Amen. But I'm going to live. Amen. Because I believe in him. Amen. He that believeth in me, even though he were dead, yet shall he live again I, I tell you we're all going to live again I, if you're lost you're going to live again I, if you're lost you're going to live I, eternally in a lake of fire I, as it burns with fire and brimstone I, where the worm dieth not I, and the fire's not quenched I, but if you know Jesus I, you're going to live with God I, you're you're going to live with Jesus. You're going to be in the city of God. Amen for eternity. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Praise you, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise the good Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Martha, running back to Mary, her sister, said, the master calls for thee. She got up and went out. All the Jews was our morning with them. They had compassion on them. They loved them. They cared for them. They was there trying to comfort them. Murray got up and run out, and they thought she was going to the grave to weep. And they followed her, and she went to Jesus too. She said, Lord, if you'd have been here, our brother would not died. Jesus said, he'll live again. And man said, where have you laid him? She said, well, Lord, by now he stinketh. The Bible said, Jesus wept. Amen. He, he loved Lazarus. And you know something else? He knowed Lazarus was going to die. He knowed Lazarus was going to die. He knowed they was going to put him in that tomb. He done knowed where they laid him, but he asked her. He asked her, where have you laid him? He done knowed where they laid him. Amen. But, amen. He knowed what he was going to do. He knowed God was going to get glory out of his life. Amen. And they, she, she took him, they did, and they went to the tomb. And Jesus, the Bible said, he groaned in the spirit. Yes, he and he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And the Bible said, he that was dead came forth wrapped in grave clothes and a napkin about his face. Now he come out of our brother Herman before they loosed him. Amen. They rolled the stone away. Jesus said, roll you away the stone. They rolled the stone away. But old Lazarus was still in the tomb. It was dark in that tomb. They may have been a little light shine through the hole where the stone was at, but it was dark back in that old tomb. Amen. And here was a man bound like a mummy, wrapped up in grave clothes. He wasn't free like me and you to walk. He had a napkin about his face. I'd say his eyes was covered. He couldn't see, but he could hear. Amen. Well, a lot of people, they can't see, but they can hear. Amen. Praise God. If you're here, amen, then you can see. Amen. But Lazarus, he couldn't see him. Amen. But he said, Lazarus, come forth. Huh? And the Bible said, he that was dead came forth wrapped in grave clothes and a napkin about his face. I can just see Lazarus in my mind as he's laying there probably on that old slab maybe. Maybe they had him on a slab, a rock slab. And he's laying there and Jesus said, Lazarus, come 
come forth. Uh oh, I hear something. I've heard that voice before. I've heard that voice. It's telling me to get up. It's telling me to get up. Amen. And here comes Lazarus. He can't see. He's bound and he comes a hopping out. Where's the door? I can't see it, but I hear a voice. I hear a voice calling. I hear a voice calling and I'm coming out. If you hear a voice calling today, you can come out. You can be loose. Amen. And you can be free. Amen. When he come out, Jesus said, loose him and let him go. Woo! I'm glad I've been loosed. I'm glad I've been loosed and let go. I ain't bound. Bible said whom the Son is made free is free indeed. I feel good today. Feel good in the Lord. Jesus raised him. He come out there with victory. Jesus raised him from the dead. That's what we're going to hear one day. Trump of God's going to sound. And the Bible said the dead in Christ is going to rise first. And Paul said we which are alive and remain will be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye and called up to be to meet the Lord in there. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. He said, wherefore comfort you one another with these words. These is words of comfort today. I'm preaching about what kind of man Jesus is. I wish I was young again. I wish I had the strength I used to have, but I don't have it. But I still have Jesus. That same spirit raised Christ from the dead being you, it will also quicken your mortal body. I'm glad there's something stronger than me. I'm glad there's something stronger than me, stronger than my strength, stronger than my body. God's spirit is stronger. God loves us. He cares for us. I don't know. I, I didn't know. You know, I just want to obey God. The devil said, you can't do it. You ain't strong enough. You done sung that song. You give everything you had in it. And you ain't got no strength left. And you don't need to try to preach. I have to obey God. I love the Lord. He's done too much for me, for me not to do something for Him. He saved all my kids, saved some of my grandkids. Brother Herman gave us a good church here to worship Him in. Been good to me, been good to my family. And I love the Lord today. He's my life. I couldn't make it without the Lord. What kind of man is Jesus to you today? Do you know Him? Do you know Jesus? If you don't, and you're watching by Facebook today, you need to be saved. If you don't know Him, you can know Him. Now, you won't never be able to see into this. Nobody can see into it till you're born again. You've got to be born into it, and when you get born into it, then you can see. I like what Doug preached here one day. He said, when a baby's in its mother's womb, it's alive, but it's in darkness. And it can't see a thing till it's born, Brother Herman. And when it's born, its eyes get open and it can see then. Well, that's the way you are when you're lost. You're in darkness and you can't see. But when you get born again of the water and of the Spirit, your eyes get open and you can see. And you're not in darkness no more. Paul said, we're not the children of the night, but we're the children of the day. And I'm glad of that, ain't you? I appreciate the Lord day. It's early yet. It ain't late. We got two more preachers here. If anybody wants to preach, come and hit the floor. Preach, obey the Lord. That's what we're here for. I just had to obey the Lord. He put that song on my heart, Brother Herman. I didn't want to get ahead of nobody. I thought, Lord, I, I don't want to get ahead of nobody else. And I just kept kept feeling it, Brother Herman, sang it. And I got up there to sing it, and then I had to preach. I appreciate the Lord, and I love to preach when God will let me. It's hard to preach when God won't let you. 
you might say, well, you're a preacher. Why wouldn't God let you? There's times the Spirit of God moves stronger than it does at others. There's times when God really wants something to go out. And he'll cover you up with it and see that it does get out, Brother Herman. And I appreciate the Lord. We love you. If you're watching by Facebook today, we got a lot of friends and a lot of people that's commented on our service. This is not a program. I don't call it a program. This is not a program. This is a church, a live church service. We come in here live and we serve God live. We worship God live. This is not a program. We don't have it laid out. We don't have a plan written down how it's going to go. We just come in here and let the Holy Ghost take it. And wherever the Holy Ghost leads us, that's where we go. Amen. But I want to tell you today, we do appreciate you uh, watching today by Facebook and praying for us. Keep praying for us. We're here to try to help someone that's lost, someone that needs healing. Someone that needs a baptism of the Holy Ghost. We're here to help people get strength from God. Amen. And we love you and appreciate you watching. And I guess right now would be a good time for us all to stand and pray for all the people. I don't know today how many people may have sent in a request or what. We can't see it till we're out of church and the church is over. I don't know. Maybe Brother Rob can see them as they pop up. But we get requests about every week, people wanting us to pray for them, saying they're in trouble, their families are in trouble. So all you people out there that's asked for prayer, these prayers are especially for you all today. And we go to God in prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, as we come to you today, knowing God that in Jesus all things are possible. Lord, we know we can't work miracles ourselves, but God, we believe in the miracle worker. We believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And God, we ask you to help all these people that's watching by Facebook or YouTube or however they might see it, Lord. We ask you to touch their hearts. We ask you to save the lost loved ones of these people, Lord, that's watching. Lord, a lot of people, we don't know them. We just see their name pop up, but we've never met them. But God, you know them. You know where they are. And God, we ask you to help them today. We ask you to save the lost. Touch the brokenhearted. Touch the sick, Lord. Move on those in the hospitals and nursing homes, wherever they might be, Father. God, we ask it in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Yes, God. Brother Rob has put up on the screen while we're on service, our service is going. If you see that post office box number there, that's our mailing address to the church. If you'd like to write to the church, why well, feel free to do that. Uh, that that's why we put it up there for Brother Herman. Now I know we'll probably get a lot of criticize criticizing and probably get a lot of letters from people that don't think much of us, but we don't care. We don't hear. Paul said, when I would do good, I find evil is always present with me. So anytime you do good for God, somebody ain't going to like it. But we appreciate the Lord today. Who else? Somebody got a song today? All right. Come on up. Everybody pray with us.
praise, Lord, your mercy and your truth, Lord. You'll take us there, Lord. You'll take us all the way. You said you would, Lord. You said you'd never leave us, Lord. You said you would never forsake us, Lord, that you'd go with us all the way, even to the end of the world, Lord. We know you will. It's your word, Lord. You're not a man that you shall lie. Lord, the son of man that you shall repent, Lord. Your word is rock solid, Lord. Lord, it's for everlasting, God. It'll always be there. Lord, it'll never fade away. Lord, we can trust in it, God. We can depend. We can depend and build our life, Lord, on your word and on your sayings, Lord, because they're sure, Lord. It's a foundation, Lord. It can't be shaken, Lord, is your word. Hallelujah, Lord. It's truth, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, help our sister, Lord. Touch her, God. Lord, just let everything be broken and released, Lord. Just let it be broken and released, Lord. And let your spirit, God, go in. Lord, and fill every void, God, every place, God. For the hurt is, God, Lord. Just let the brokenness, Lord, just come. Let it all be broken and go. Let it roll out, Lord. Let God, let your spirit, Lord, fill everything that pours out, God. Let your spirit, Lord, go in, Lord. Let God fill the voids, Lord. Let them there, Lord, the emptiness, Lord, the places there, Lord, the hurt is, Lord. Let that hurt be empty, Lord. Let your grace fill it, Lord. Let your mercy fill it, Jesus. Touch her, Lord. Strengthen her, God. Uplift her, Lord. Help us to be compassionate. Merciful God, yes. help us, Lord, thank God, to always show Jesus. mercy, Lord, yes. and compassion, Jesus. Yes, the Lord, help us, Lord. Every help us, Lord, Jesus. Yes. Touch our sister, Lord. Help us, Lord. Yes. Help us, Lord. Yes. Almighty God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, he tries to bring in lies, Lord. 
traps, Lord, all kinds of things, Lord, to bring us down, Lord, to cause us to start to fall. But, Lord, I pray you build him up and strengthen him, Lord, and give him all that he needs, Lord, on this journey, God. Lord, let the joy of the Lord, God, just come upon him so strongly, Lord. Lord, it's so freely, Lord, today, God. Lord, just to obey you, Lord, wherever he goes, or whatever he does, God. Let your glory, God, be all about him, Lord, and strengthen him, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, lift his soul and his spirit, Lord. Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, I thank you, Lord.
Dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-